Good morning, Joshua. Good morning. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, Matthew. Good morning. So to ensure that the children are all making progress and are all learning, it's knowing your children, setting the right tasks for them, and having high expectations to say, this is where we are, this is where we're going to go. And having fun with them and just knowing your children and knowing where you're aiming for. In education is important, but we want the bigger picture. We want you know the nurturing, we want the good morals, uh, the values, and I think St Michael's gives the whole package, the whole lot. I would say that St Michael's a really good school with good education, good teachers, good students, and they help St Vincent de Paul with the poor people. So we are a really good Catholic school that looks after the environment. We had to see which one held the most. There was a little one and a tall one and a big one. And we knew the, the little one held the least and then we didn't know which one held the most, was if it was the tall one or the big one. And then we thought it was the big one. Right. What's the number? Yeah, We're really up the top. Number. What does that say there? That, what number is that? One. One. So it's 1,000 millilitres. Oh. I find the teachers and the um, principal is very driven to get the best out of the children. They seemed so involved and so caring and I thought that would help get the best for my children. As a parent I'll go in and help reading and there's always a group that are on the net pads or the iPads and they're uh, by term two they're already able to set it up themselves and they can log in and put their password and username and so on and they're all the things now I suppose that kids of today experience in comparison to when I was here. A few years ago we just had a few disagreements and then we had circles. They asked us the restorative questions and then people actually learned like what they did was wrong because people were just going away and they didn't know what they did wrong. But then since that person told them, oh, you did this, they actually know now what they did wrong that they can do better next time. This term, we went and participated in reconciliation and spoke about what reconciliation is for the students. And it's a way for them to be forgiven for some of the things that they've done that they're not so proud of. Once they come back from reconciliation, they feel much calmer and at peace. With St Michael's being a Catholic school, I think it is very special. It makes us what we are. We are St Michael's, we are Catholic, and that's what we hold dear to ourselves and through the ethos is embedded in everything that we do. It doesn't have to be in your face, but the fact that it's there and how we talk to each other how we relate to each other, I think we always reflect back on how Jesus would, would act and I think that's embedded from kindergarten to year six. I think if uh, a teacher was thinking about coming to work in the Wilcannia Forbes Diocese, the Catholic Education Office in Forbes, with the New Australian Curriculum, we've got a lot of involvement with um, educational officers who will come into your school and support you in your classroom. Everyone's so welcoming, it just makes it so much easier to come into a new town, a new school where you know no one, but they actually invite you out to their houses to show you their farms and teach you all about the farming life, something that I didn't know about. It's been fantastic. That lovely open spaces, and I think it's quite godly in that, you know, it's, a, it's got a lovely spiritual connection of being out in the country. We can have a richer experience and, and it puts much purpose into your life. And everyone's so caring and supportive and it's just a great little school. It's a good school. I really like it because you do assembly and there's honour cards and there's you're a winner card award and there's learning goals and learning goal achievements and lots of stuff like that.